be outdoors. Buck some bass and beers. 3B Outdoors premier sponsors are Spot Hog, makers of serious archery products, and W.E. McConnell and Sons, high performance builders of high performance nationwide homes. Welcome back and thanks for being with us for another week here at 3B Outdoors. This week we're going to Wyoming, Nelson Outfitters, one of my most favorite outfitters to go to. We're going with my good buddy Dustin Coates on his very first mule deer hunt. It's action packed. Then we're going to Ohio with Mr. Jeff Gully on a hunt that happened last year. We're going to see if we can lay our tags on one of those big Buckeye bruisers. I'm Freddie Neely and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Me and Freddie and Fess is on this trip. I'm hunting, Freddie's hunting, got Fess filming Freddie, got Dave Deming filming me. We get out here and uh, Dave Deming's got some pretty good bucks picked out, you know, so they want me to, to try to take. So first evening, we go to a tree stand set in the middle of an alfalfa field. Uh, we have several, several nice bucks come in the field, a whole lot of deer. We don't uh, have any luck that day. We have several nice bucks come by. So we have a set our next morning and not a lot of activity where we went, but uh, seen a lot of deer off, you know, distance. We're back in the same second day of our hunt to evening and uh, what we got is uh, with me and Dave I got Dave Demi behind the camera with me and uh, we come in here this evening and set up a ground blind all these deer have been funneling out this like draw up in here and coming in the corner of this alfalfa field and so we kind of eased our way up here toward the corner underneath the big tree and set us up a ground blind so uh, Hopefully they do his plan and come in and give us a good close shot. I don't know, we're just gonna sit back. It's about 95 degrees in midday. We're blistering, burning up. So hang with us and we're gonna see what happens. Well, that evening, no shot, you know, but we had just the, probably the best evening I've ever sat in a blind and seeing deer. The next morning we go back, we're up in a different blind on up in the property. Slow morning up in there. So that evening, we head back to the blind in the alfalfa field. So we're, we're sitting there and we've got bucks filtering in. I have some good bucks come in, good, you know, real close. But uh, in my case, a little bit more than what management wanted to be there were some of Dave's trophy deer and I mean when I say trophy he's got just unreal trophy mule deer and white tail 75 and 27 okay we're back in the blind we was in yesterday evening me and Dave come back in here we had as you can see we had a ton of bucks in here yesterday they stayed out of range, so hopefully that night we've got some cattle up here. Maybe that'll push them a little bit further down the field. And uh, all I know is last night was exciting. If we can get her done tonight, we're going to do it. Because it's hot, we're tired of sitting in these blinds. The funny thing is, we have a buck that we've been watching comes in right enough daylight we thought he was gonna filter in right in front of the blind instead he takes a right turn he goes out of fence row so then that's when the mad dash gets started i'm scurrying around trying to get in the back of the the blind to shoot out the hole that we took down and uh, <laughs> dave gets behind me with the camera and during this whole time i'm trying to figure out a way that i can get a shot at this deer and this deer standing out there at 62 yards and I have shot all year long, you know, waiting for this moment. Um, and come to find out, I didn't hear Dave say that he didn't have him in the camera.
It ain't on video. It's not. No. Well, I had done settled in, pin, made the shot, and it, it was a great shot, and the deer runs about 100 yards. <sighs> I didn't give my buddy time enough to get his record button on. No, no, I, I... This is, this is, uh, this is real hunting. This is the deer that Dustin wanted. We had it picked out for him. The deer came in behind the blind. This is the hard part about being a cameraman. We had to scramble and get turned around. Dustin was concentrating on shooting, and I told him we did. I couldn't get him on video, couldn't get him on video. He went ahead and drew. So all you guys that want to be TV show hosts, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> welcome to Real Hunt. Yep. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Nelson's Outfitters, Trophy Hunts in Wyoming and Montana, Sunline, Tenzing Packs and Gear, Watson's Airlock, Kistler Rods, Under Armour, Big Dog Muzzle Loaders, Fray Bill, Preferred Insurance Solutions, Bass Pro Shops, and Express Signs, specializing in lighting signs, vinyl graphics, and making 3B Outdoors look good. Hey, I'm Freddie Neely from 3B Outdoors. For the last seven years, I've shot a spot hog sight. It's the most durable, dependable, rugged sight that I've ever come in contact with. After several states and several critters later, I'm still greedy. So if you want to get greedy, go give Josh Johnson from Spot Hog a call. Tell him 3B Outdoor Boys sent you. Or better yet, go to spothog.com and order all their products. Hi, I'm Eddie McConnell, owner of W.E. McConnell & Son. We are a franchise builder of Nationwide Homes. We have over 35 years of experience building, over 100 house plans to choose from, where we can customize your home plan to make your dream come true. We're not only better at building homes, we're better at building homes better. Did you build my house? I built your house. You built the best house ever. It's a good. Hunting. Fishing. It's time we settle this. Okay, let's go to Wally's. Let's go! Nathan, Wally's has everything a hunter needs. Freddie, have you seen all the fishing tackle at Wally's? I said hunting. And I said fishing. Hey guys, you're both right. I'm Andrew, owner of Wally's Sporting Goods, a haven for all sportsmen and women. From rifles to rods and reels, Wally's Sporting Goods is your locally owned outdoor connection. Hunting. And fishing. Last night, me and Dave was sitting in the blind back here and I shot a real good three by five buck mule deer. And thanks to Dave Nelson, made it all happen. Uh, we got up on top of the hill this morning, come back and look for him. And found him laying, what, 80 yards from the blind? 100 yards maybe. So, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited I can't stand it. So, Go put my hands on him, see what he looks like. Oh. You see that? That jumped on his horns. That right there. That's why you come to Dave Nelson. And believe me, this is one of the smaller ones that we've seen. And I tell you what, if you want this kind of hunt, and actually bigger trophies, and this is the biggest, this is the most awesome thing to me that he's got, no matter if it's Mule deer, whitetail, antelope, moose, mountain lion, elk, you do it all. And you're right. great. Try. That's pretty yeah. good, Dustin. <laughs> He's got some Dustin character. He's <laughs> got something like uh, Mike said that time on a drop-down antelope. <laughs> <laughs> 
raised brown heads, spot hog side. Especially, that's why we shoot Matthews. Big thanks to my buddy behind the camera, Dave Demi. He stuck it out with me all week and kind of had a little technical difficulty last night in my hearing <laughs> while we shuffling around in the blind. I didn't hear him say he wasn't on him and a letter flying. The deer didn't go 100 yards from the blind. I can't believe it. That's unreal. Thank you, bud. You bet you did. I man. mean, thank you big time. Made a dream come true. Twice. 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 <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do for the encore. <laughs> it's just uh, an amazing thing to be able to come see deer in that quality, that abundance, and uh, it's just a dream come true. And, and if you do want to come experience something that is going to be cherished the rest of your life, I mean, it, it just burns in you. Dave and Jan Nelson have the best place that I've ever experienced as far as hunting, mule deer, you know, been out here several times with Freddie filming whitetail. Uh, he had me on an antelope pump with that dream come true there. I mean, so if you really want to experience a great hunt, give Dave and Jan a call and the best people you'll be around. It's the last week of September. It's the opening weekend of Ohio bow season. We're going to Mr. Jeff Gulley's. Ohio bound, baby. We get there, we go in, he shows us all kinds of pictures that came off of the trail cameras, and we're trying to figure out what stands we want to hunt because of the way the wind's blowing. You know, and if, if you can get on these bucks early, they're coming off their summer pattern, and you might get a little edge for the first hunt anyway. So we get there, and all week, I'm in stand, we go every day. We're up at gullies. We're gonna lay the smack down on one big bruiser. What'd you say going that thing? Going down. You playing games? No games. We don't play games here at Gullies. We playing games? No games. Sure. No. None. This segment of 3B Outdoors presented by Matthews, Catch Us If You Can, Clano, Rage Broadheads, Motormate USA, Canon Sunglasses, Hunter Safety Systems, Lawrence HDS Gen 2 Touch, Hardcore, Waterfowl Decoys and Gear, Luminoc, and Paul Clark State Farm Insurance, 3B Outdoors Preferred Insurance Provider. I saw Brent going hunting again this morning. I thought he was building a new home. Haven't you heard? It's already built. McConnell and Son took care of everything, completely hassle-free. You know, Fess, Brenda and I, we've thought about building a new home, but we're afraid it'll end up in divorce. Nah, I think you guys will do great. Just let Eddie McConnell handle all the worries. I've heard him say it many a times. He aims to save marriages. W. McConnell and Sons, give him a call. 
ATC Cooling and Heating, your factory authorized carrier dealer. Turn to the experts specializing in geothermal heat pump systems. Take advantage of a 30% tax credit for geothermal installation and rebates up to $1,750. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call the folks at ATC Cooling and Heating. When all other brands fall, carrier and ATC stand tall. Your geothermal heat pump specialist. Ford, we're having the big deal sale. This is a big deal. Every new 2013 Ford and Lincoln will have the factory invoice posted in the window. Now that is a big deal. And we have 0% financing and no payments for 90 days on most vehicles. Do I need to say it again? Hmm, yes, that is a big deal. At Ramey Ford, we do the deal. Now that's a big deal. There they are. There they are. Oh, God, something spooked them. Was that a barren ground? No, it was my stomach. I'm hungry. Well, this turkey hunting's way overrated. Let's go down Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken they talk about. You know what Mike says? Seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I'm all for that. You want a good home-cooked meal? Come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. It's our first evening here in Ohio. We just got in the stand, Gully dropped us off. We've been getting pictures of a big 10 pointer coming in right here. This is where I shot my buck last year. This is the cedar tree, one of my favorite trees on the whole place. Hopefully, the buck will come from the north. We got a um, southwest wind, and hopefully it'll stay that way. If the wind stays that way, we're money in these trees. We're in two big cedar trees. This big acorn flat over here, and these bucks are coming up out of this acorn flat, getting a little buck dust. So hopefully, everything will work out. It'll be it'll be money tonight. I don't see a buck all week. It comes down to the last evening. And Jeff says, I, I know one more spot that these deer, we might catch one of these bucks on their feet pretty early. Well, there's this big alpha, alpha field down to the east of us, and back behind us is a bedding area. So we get in there and get set up, hoping to catch one of these bucks on their feet before it gets dark. And uh, there's this fence that runs through here, and they've got this trail under this fence that's just wore out. Well, it's about, actually it's an hour before dark, and Jeff taps me and says, big buck, big buck coming.
So this buck comes out and he crawls up under this fence and he comes down just like he read the cue card. Gives me a 25 yard shot. <laughs> Give me some. That's why I wish you to Matthews, baby. It's done. It's done. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. It's over in Ohio. I'm pulling out God, we've been up here for four days. The last evening. Last day. Whew. I think I made a pretty good shot on him. Gully killed a big den right here. It's opening evening. Nothing else was happening. We come in here. We put a, we made a plan, we got up a tree, and uh, thank you God, it came together, gosh, yeah, oh man, Whew. tore all to pieces, I think I, I think I made a good hit on him, we'll get out and look at the arrow and see here in a few minutes, but complete pass through. <laughs> down and what happened gully come in here the first evening and killed a big 10 in here that's why his stand is at the bottom of the tree we came in here it's my last evening here i've had bucky smith up with me me and jeff's not got the honey together he came with me this evening the old lucky horseshoe and we smoked him let's go over here and look at the arrow i've done picked it up but let's let's look at it Pretty good right there. What do you think, Jeffro? Oh yeah. That looks really good. Let's go, let's go see if we can find him. <laughs> well, buddy, we done it again. <laughs> we did it again. Ain't nothing like the last minute, is it? Two years in a row. Last day, last minute, ninth inning, two outs, two strikes. 
had to put in the uh, the old pitch hitter. I had to put in the pitch hitter, old Jeffrey. Man, he's got a horseshoe on him. Been hunting all week with Bucky. And uh, man, we've had it rough. Bad weather, Jeff come in here and killed a really nice 10 pointer. Opening evening, he's seen these bucks, but you know, it's just a, they're just traveling out to a big alfalfa field. Big and, alfalfa field right up here. And it was just getting on the right trail at the right time. So we had nothing to lose. We came in here, we set up, three bucks came out. The old Matthews done its job, the rage, what a hole. Big old hole. He actually shot this buck within 10 yards, well, 20 yards of where I shot mine. 20 yards. We've done that twice this year. Richie and Pete done it. So me and Jeff was talking, so how cool would that be? So buddy. Same tree. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> What a show. You know, when 3D Outdoors gets a chance to go to Nelson Outfitters, we're all up and ready to go. We'd like to thank Dave Nelson and family for making us feel like family. For also giving Dustin a chance of a lifetime at one of those world-class muleys. We can't forget Dave Deming. He was behind the camera on this hunt. Then Ohio with Mr. Jeff Gully. We'd like to thank him and his family for having us up. Last day, last evening, last light. It seems to always happen to me that way, but that's okay. Join us again next week where Nathan and those crazy fisher guys will have you somewhere on the water. I'm Freddie Neely, and thanks for watching 3B Outdoors.